Hello. I was going to say good morning, but good day, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, depending where in the world you are. I am in Mexico and it's early morning and I thought I'd take a little jaunt to the bakery <laughs> so that I could make the most of the beautiful cool weather. Um, and I wanted to share something funny that happened yesterday. I was in a really amazing session with one of my amazing, amazing clients. And I just want to show you, they do aerial doodah here. Oh, hello, dog. Morning light, baby, baby. To Jerry singing. <laughs> so I was in this session yesterday and um, it was amazing. I love my clients. I love all my clients, but especially love this client. And um, <clears throat> this is not normal, but it was a very funny thing where I was in this little moment of. Um, Trying to get the temperature right, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> Any women who are at the hot stage of their lives might relate. Luckily, she related. So I was like, I was fanning myself and I was turning the aircon off. I was turning it back on. I was turning it up. I was turning it down. <laughs> well, I still totally focused on my client and on the session. But it was so funny. All of a sudden, I went, oh, for God's sake, I think I'm going to become a full-time temperature adjuster. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and it was just a funny moment. And, and I think that's really what I wanted to share today because, <clears throat> man, life throws us curveballs. And, of course, you know, it's not always appropriate to laugh or to you know, look on the flipping bright side or whatever, but it just, <laughs> you know, it was just, it just reminded me really of how we can, we can take what life has dealt us, you know, we can, we can let it make us, never mind hide under the duvet, but want to hide under the bed, which because of some horrible things that happened in my life, a few months ago, I literally wanted to do, you know, and not that I started to see the funny side or the bright side or anything of those things, because it was sad, it was related to grief and everything, but through a friend saying, Jerry, get your act together, you know, like I was in deep grief, and I was really angry at this friend saying that to me, you know? I was like, how dare you? I'm grieving and blah, blah, blah. I didn't say that to him, but that's what I thought. But you know, on the, there's a book I want to recommend actually, Power Versus Force. And another book by the same author, uh, Letting Go. God, what's the name of the guy? I'll have to post it in the comments if, I can't remember by the time I end this live, but anyway, you know, he talks about the levels of consciousness and um, shame, grief, for sure, are some of the lowest. I can't remember if they're the lowest, but weirdly enough, anger is above. It's a higher, you know, it's, it's higher on this scale. Um, so what happened was this friend actually got me angry, which was a better place than where I had been. <laughs> so, and yesterday kind of really reminded me of, what did it remind me of? Tough times don't last, you know? Good times don't last, you know, it's one of the things that you know, I'm always kind of quoting, I love this. It's for me so poignant and so relevant is that phrase, this too shall pass. So anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that funny moment where I don't know if I was getting hot flashes, but I was definitely 
quite uncomfortable with temperatures and everything. Anyway, I'm nearly at the bakery, so I just wanted to say I love you so much. And I guess this is just a reminder that, you know, life is going to throw us curveballs, but it's also, it also gifts us with so much magic, with, with so many blessings, you know, and it's really, you know, how are we receiving them? And I'm not recommending that you be grateful for tough times but you know they don't last and man do they change you do they make you stronger anyway it's time for my croissant and my fresh bakery goods so I love you so much and I will see you next time aloha bye beautiful